Hey guys, how are you doing? So today we're gonna talk about the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. So recently, Note 10's display's protective film got leaked, pointing towards the under-display fingerprint scanner and a single selfie camera for both Note 10 and its bigger brother, the Note 10 Pro. But the thing that you might have not noticed about this film is its forehead. There is no cutout for the speaker grill, which hints towards the implementation of SOD, sound and display technology, which means that instead of the traditional earpiece up top, Samsung might use the display itself as an earpiece. Yes, you heard me right. Instead of the traditional earpiece, Samsung might use vibrations from the screen to emit sound. In other words, the screen of the Note 10 will vibrate to produce sound. And if it is correct, Samsung could increase the screen sizes of smartphones without having to increase the size of the device itself. Samsung has been showcasing its SOD technology since last year. It first showcased it at Samsung OLED Forum in China, then CES 2019 held in January. So it was expected that Samsung might debut a smartphone later with this technology. And now it looks like the SOD technology is ready to be implemented on a smartphone. We know that LG already has this technology and they call it the Crystal Sound OLED. Now it's time for Samsung to make the move. And another thing that I wanted you to know is that Samsung Galaxy Note 10 will feature three stage variable aperture. And this crazy thing slash feature of the Galaxy Note 10 is hinted by a prominent tipster Ice Universe. We first saw this technology in the Samsung Galaxy S9 as a dual stage variable aperture. Variable aperture simply means Note 10 can swap between f1.5, f1.8 and f2.4 apertures without having to use different lenses which is pretty cool. Now if you don't know about aperture and how it works, let me explain. So let's explain it by using the example of our eyes. When we are in a dark environment, our pupils expand, thus changing the aperture in order to capture more light. Aperture is just like that. So when you will be taking picture in low light, it will shift to f1.5 aperture to capture as much light as possible. And when you are in normal environment, it will shift to f2.4 aperture in order to keep the image balanced. Okay guys, that is it for now. Subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell notifications to get notified about my future videos. And follow me on the socials which are going to be in the description below. Also, if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section below. I will show you that to answer them. But for now, let's call it a day.